Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jelen. Boy, I have an amazing tip for you today. And this tip came when one of the vice presidents where I worked learned enough about Excel to be dangerous. We had a whole column of quantity and a whole column of unit price, and he wanted one formula that would multiply all of the quantities times unit prices. And I started to show him how it'd be pretty easy to do. You just enter a formula you know, that would multiply the quantity times the unit price, and you copy it down. And he said, whoa, 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 whoa. You're running hundreds of formulas. I want one formula. Isn't there a way to do that? And at the time, I said, I don't think there is. But one of the coworkers down the hall showed us this amazing formula, which if you've been using Excel for a while, you'll say, wow, there's no way that that could possibly work. What the coworker did was he took all of the cells in column E and multiplied them by all of the cells in column F. Now look at that formula. Sum of E2 to E564 times F2 to F564, it doesn't look valid. In fact, if you just hit the enter key, you do get the value error showing that this is not a valid formula. But here's the amazing thing. If you use a secret keystroke, it's control, shift, and then hit enter. So I'm going to hold down control, shift, enter. That tells Excel that this is a special kind of formula, an array formula. And in memory, Excel will multiply E2 times F2, E3 times F3, all the way down the column, provided both arguments are the same shape and then add up all of those numbers and give you one number. It's called an array formula. I call it a CSE formula to help me remember control shift enter. There you have it. Stop back tomorrow for another tip from Mr. Excel.